As you can tell, I have gone old school. Hey, what's going on? My name is Bentley Copus. Welcome back to another video. It has been a very long time since you've seen me. Yes, um, I can get my hair into a bun now. So that's how long it's been. It's that I can finally put my hair up. Um, as you can tell by today's video, um, I bought a film camera. <laughs> uh, so, without further ado, no piss farting around, the Canon AE1, um, yeah, I am finally part of the film community, I've been shooting film for about a month now, um, I, I've had this for a month, now to go in depth on why I got it and how I got it, um, for starters, Bought it off Gumtree. Good old Gumtree. If you don't know what Gumtree is, if you're from the other side of the world, Gumtree is basically a marketplace for Australians to sell whatever you want. You can sell cars, you can sell cameras, furniture, whatever. It's basically like Facebook Marketplace, but I think I think Gumtree's Australian, I don't know, is it? But that's where I found it. I was just casually looking at Canon AE1s, like just as you normally do, and because I was slightly interested in film, as you heard from previous videos, I was interested in the process of how film was made and how you take photos with film. I enjoyed all that, but the one thing that worried me was the results after, and that's my downside to it. It's like, I enjoy the process, but you don't know what the results are until you get it back. I decided, I went, all right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna message this guy. I'm gonna tell him I'm interested in buying this camera and see what the best price he can do for me because he was in he was in Sydney and I'm obviously up here in the Newcastle and Maitland area. And while I was at work, it came in this box and it, it felt heavy. It felt heavy like a camera should, but I was scared I was just gonna get a brick. Obviously, when you're shopping online, you know, like Gumtree or Marketplace, you wanna, you know, you wanna be careful and not get obviously a brick, but good thing is I opened it and here it was. As you know, I work in a camera shop and many times we get asked why film's popular. Can you get film? What's this mean? What's that mean? And I had to learn what all that means because I grew up in a digital field world. My first little camera was a SX 730 HS, the little compact ones, and I borrowed my mum's 600D and I finally upgraded to the M50 and now the R. 
and I was just building on lenses on that and my colleague basically helped me with all of that. He shoots both digital and film and he knows a lot more. So everything that I asked about film, I learned off him and you know, every customer that sees me come in and ask me about film, I learned off the other guy, <laughs> but I wouldn't call myself a film knowledge guy. So I bought a couple of rolls and I took one to a car show, did a couple of black and white random ones and I took one to the forest as you saw that little landscape photo that I did. I'll pop more on the screen just so you can have a look here. They're not the best. Look, I admit, I'm a straight beginner, amateur. Don't know anything about film photography as of yet. I know how to sell film, but and I, and I know the basics of how it works, but using an actual film camera that's manual all settings is new to me. I don't consider myself as a film photographer as of yet. Will I in the future? <laughs> I'm not sure. It, de it depends how much I use film. And I'll always be a digital guy. I'll always shoot on digital. I've spent so much money on it, I'm not just gonna ditch it and go straight film. Like you can take photos and make videos and all in one camera. I'll always love that. So don't expect that my Instagram grid or my portfolio is just gonna go from digital to film because it's not, it's not possible. But I will shoot film. That is a thing that I'm interested in. I wanna learn about it. I wanna do it more. And I wanna create a style from the photos that I take on film. That way you can see my style of digital and you can see my style of film. You know, it's always good to have that kind of balance you know, and take a step back as well. You know, you use digital a lot and you just spam the button and you're taking so many photos. Whereas in a film camera, you get 24 shots or 27 in a disposable or 36. And you know, you kind of got to carefully plan it out. But at the same time, you kind of just got to go. You just got to take the photos. Am I happy with this purchase? Of course I am. What do you mean? Of course I'm happy. Like it's an AE1. Like I never thought I'd actually get this. You know, I've, I've said to myself that I wanted to get one just even as a collector piece. Like that doesn't even work. Just so it can sit there and look pretty. Like it sits there. Like it sits on my desk. And there was one photo I posted that has it right in the corner. And that's where it sits. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go in the gear cupboard at all. It sits out on the desk because I just like to look at it. Like it just looks cool, nice and retro. But that is all. Uh, thank you all for watching. I uh, just wanted to officially announce that I have got a film camera now. I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to just let it out. Like I did kind of hide it for a bit and posted that photo on Instagram to kind of tease it a little bit. And yeah, I am I'm very excited to just use it more, get that feel, but I am still digital photographer and filmmaker. So I will see you all in the next video. Don't know when that will be, but you know, just stay tuned. Bye. You know, how do we like the, the new angle? Yeah. I uh, used to move it all over the place, but I think, I think this place, I think this, I think this angle is going to stick. You know, it's pretty cool. Like, look, I bought a stool. That's, that's there. That's, that's this for this. That's only for here. See? This is how I sit.